Hi guys, so are you ready to draw with me today? So today I'm going to draw two things, a butterfly and a cat. So let's get started. And if you are new to my channel uh, and haven't been here already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell icon to get a video every single day because I release a video for you every single day. And along the way while I draw, I will give you some fun facts about cats. And if you want to connect with me, all that information is in the description box below for you. My Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, so you can connect with me through there as well. And um, if you want to request something for me to draw for next time, let me know in the comments below. So you can see now I'm starting off with the nose of the cat and then the nose bone, I guess. And this is going to be just the side of the cat. And then I'm also going to draw a butterfly as well. So for this one, you can be uh, as spontaneous and as creative as you want because you can use different colors. Um, I've seen so many similar drawings with so many different colors, like multicolor ones. So it's up to you what you want to do. So let's get started. And... Um, I'll give you a fun fact, not a lot, just a little bit of fun facts about cats too. Um, so you can see I'm drawing the fur. Uh, so I drew the nose, nose bone, and then a little bit of the forehead. And now I'm drawing uh, a little bit of fur just around the cat, just to make it look furry and fluffy looking. And this is where I'm going to draw the eye. So soon I'm going to draw the eye um, and then um, a little bit of more fur and uh, the whiskers and then I'm going to move on to the butterfly. So it's just the side of the face, um, a subtle indication of a cat. So um, one of the video in one of the videos somebody commented that I um, they want uh, to know step by step more. So uh, you can see these uh, areas that I'm drawing the dotted lines here. They are for the whiskers. So even though they look the same as the fur, uh, they are drawn like dots because that's where the whiskers are coming from and when you're drawing whiskers don't draw it at a uh, just one angle like one direction um, just do it at different directions so it looks more realistic because um, they go everywhere like upwards downwards and 
uh, sideways so um, you can do that and you can see how uh, cats have that um, line along the eye as well tigers or like um, lioness I guess have that too I believe or tigers for sure um, so that's what I'm drawing leopards have it for sure as well um, like that I'm talking about that um, line going towards the nose um, so make sure to draw that as well and just draw a uh, fur lightly just like I'm doing here just to give it that nice fluffy look and we'll uh, slightly color it too and when it comes to eye color um, so you can see now I'm adding eyelashes here so did you know to give you some fun facts today uh, did you know that cats do not taste sweetness uh, apparently cats are believed to be the only mammals who don't taste sweetness um, and they are nearsighted um, those are the fun facts that I'm going to show today so let me know if you're liking these uh, when I give you more details of how I drew this and my thought process drawing it um, if you're liking it let me know in the comments below I like your feedback so I'll get to the rest of it uh, just shortly so I hope you I hope it is easy to follow now uh, let me know in the comments below So now we are done with the cat so I'm just gonna draw a butterfly just side of a butterfly so it's a like cat is looking at the butterfly directly um, sideways as well so this is the body of the butterfly and when it comes to uh, the wings of the butterfly they come in different shapes so you can either make it really big really small or um, like um, whichever you want you can make it 3d as well with like triangles and shapes if you want so this is the shape that I'm going for sorry for it being blurry a little bit I guess it focused on uh, the sharpie because it's closer to the camera that's why it's becoming blurry but uh, when it comes to the shape you it's up to you um, which shape you want to prefer but make sure to draw the top uh, wing or top um, part of the butterfly bigger and then the bottom uh, wing or the flap or whatever you want to call it uh, a little smaller so you can see how the pattern of the butterfly 
um, I'm using like circular patterns and different shapes didn't really have a plan when it comes to uh, drawing the shapes I just drew it as it came to my head um, so that's it and now we'll go into coloring I loved coloring the eye of the cat because um, I wanted to make it look like a marble kind of so I really enjoyed that so I hope you enjoy So now that I showed you how to color different areas of the cat and the butterfly, this is the full colored drawing. I really hope you like it and if you do, don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment for me. And if you want to buy products with this on, check out my Redbubble shop link in the description box below for products. I have a lot for you to choose from and in the next couple of videos, I'm going to also show you how to do like a DIY. Uh, your own product making with art uh, so stay tuned for that and now I put some next videos for you to check out and don't forget to hit on my face logo to subscribe to my channel I bring a video every single day to you so I hope you have a great day today and I will see you tomorrow bye